Hey guys, Blues here. Here with my full playthrough of Earthworm Jim's Special Edition Windows 95 version running on Windows 10. I made a full video uh, describing exactly how to get this game to run in Windows 10 as well as you see in this video. I'm going to put a link in the upper right hand corner right now. Click on that if you'd like to be able to play this game yourself. Hey, 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 um, hey, hey! I'm gonna let this go ahead and just play out here. This little intro animation is just a fun, lot of fun to watch. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, no, New Junk City. I accidentally skipped that subtitle screen, but that's okay. So, I, I'll definitely be able to beat this. I will definitely lose some lives, but I should be able to do it without continuing. And I, I can't say I know all the secrets, but I know enough to be able to get through this game. Let's see here. There's one right here. So if you know of a secret and I pass it up, you know that's cool, but I don't know every one of them, so. Alright, there we go. Gotta love the soundtrack to this game, uh, made by Tommy Tallarico. Anybody who's been following video games for a long time knows knows about him, and he's working on the uh, Intellivision Amico. I'm not sure that's going to be very much of a success, but we'll see. But we know that uh, Earthworm Jim is going to be making a comeback on the Intellivision Amico. So we'll just see how that goes. Hopefully for everybody that doesn't want to buy the Intellivision Amico, hopefully it comes out for other consoles and systems. Because I don't know if I want to buy it. We'll just see. We'll wait and see. Plasma gun can be nice, but in a lot of circumstances, I almost just like the regular machine gun. I think it gives you plasma, like for special certain circumstances. Not a flawless playthrough, but I know I'm gonna make it.
is this is the music will stop since uh it, it used to loop in windows 95 windows 10 for some reason that doesn't work all you gotta do is hit escape hit escape again it'll restart this the audio track to get that extra life. I'm nude. I'm going the wimp route. I, I don't even care. I'm not trying to prove nothing. I'm just trying to beat the game. Pretty easy first boss. Here, I don't know. Look, they're meatballs. Groovy. Whoa, Whoa, These sections get harder later in the game. Uh, not too tough right now, but if you beat Psycho uh, and you get. 50 of the blue orbs, then you get to continue. If you don't beat Psycho, then you have to fight him at the end. It's, it's not too hard, but... But it's just nice to avoid that. But I'm more than likely going to be fighting Psycho later in the game, because these do get much harder. All right, just just enough blue orbs. I win. Another continue. Another glitch with uh, this running in Windows 10. You may have noticed when he uh, does his lasso on his jet there. Uh, it should fade out the CD audio, but it doesn't. 
uh, and play another sound. It, you can hear the sound faintly, but yeah, the, the CD audio doesn't fade out, so it's something that I'm not sure is fixable in Windows 10. Could be worse, though. This level never made any sense to me. It's like, why are we in... Heck, heck is this game calls it? But, uh, that's okay. That's part of the charm of this game, I guess. gotten that before, but I can't think of how to do it right now. It could be worse. We're going to beat this game anyways. This game can be pretty challenging, uh, but at least it gives you a lot of lives. And when you learn how to beat it, it's really not crazy hard. You just got to know what to do and when. something you can go back and find. Might be an extra yippee, life. Yippee. Looks like some uh, more machine gun right there. I'm not going to go back for every one of them. It's just not really necessary, but I guess it's an extra challenge you can give yourself if that's what you want. Thank <laughs> you. 
take that, Frosty. This party just got to wait it out. It'll stop. It's just a little tricky, but at least if there's not a a cliff you can fall off of right there. Let's see, come on. If you don't go too far forward, those guys will just stay in place and you can whip them. Second boss, pretty easy here. got this. Let me get rid of this plasma because I think it's harder here.
Big Broody. So this is the exclusive level to the special edition, uh, which is also on Sega CD as well. Uh, I personally think this is the worst level in the game. I mean, it's not like crazy hard. It's just kind of kind of boring, kind of lame. But yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. I could do without it though, I suppose. sniff you and then start chasing you and then then run past them because they'll kill you in one hit This way again. Oh yeah, okay, I remember now. There we go. Oh, there we go. Well, just so if you wanted to know what it looks like him getting it eaten in one one bite. Oh, there's an extra life again, so we're gonna grab that. That's nice. Oh, come on. I did notice uh, when beating this game the last time there was someone that made this game whose I think last name is Broody. We'll have to check it out after we beat the game this time. Let me 
double check here. Yep, this is the part I thought it was. Ruby. Let's see. Okay. And pause it and unpause it to get the audio to come back again. Let's see if we can get this extra life up here. Groovy, groovy. Um, how do we do that? Uh, let's see. We probably got to be launched by the, one of those red broody guys. Oh yeah. Hmm? I feel like I've gotten that one before. Give it another shot. Probably don't really need it, but if I can get it, I will. There we go. Uh, Hmm. Oh, there we go. I knew I've gotten it before. So, if I remember correctly, dropping down this side is better because there's an extra life. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is the end of the level here. <laughs> yep, there it is. Look, they're meatballs. Just, just barely 50. Earned another continue I'm not going to be using. All right, down the tubes. I have to imagine that a lot of people have, that have played this game, this is the level they couldn't get past. Because uh, it was, was tough, but it's definitely not impossible. Right. 
the sections where you got to use the uh, little under, uh, underwater vehicle. That's the tough part, but it's really not too tough. You guys, it's not too tough, and here, here we are. Not the best start. We got this, though. Oh yeah! I'm wondering if that's also a glitch. How it's not transparent. Where you? I'm wondering if you can see through that normally. So that's a little hidden, but maybe, maybe that is the way it's supposed to be. Uh oh. Come on, give me some life. Got to be, got to be quick, but not too quick. Come on. What? We got it. Here we go. All right. Start that music over again. the cow. Oh. It's not over yet, though. I don't know why the music's not playing at that part. On a couple of the levels.
If I remember right, this is the part that gives you like 90 seconds of air and you just got one shot to do it. Yep. Ninety-nine seconds. Looks like there's a secret there, I'm not even gonna go for it. be pretty nerve-wracking to be in that thing and it's starting to crack that bad. boss in this level. Not too tough. Later, Andy Asteroids, uh, Psycho starts picking up those turbos, so you gotta grab them before he does. Continue, we're not going to use. I win! Look out below! This level is pretty easy until the third round. But should be able to beat it, no no problem. Hopefully. Might lose a life or two. We'll see. This is where the game starts getting a little harder. Two, that thing at the bottom starts chomping at you. 
Look out! That's a one hit kill. We got this. Look out below! Toughest part. Hopefully, I can do it in one life. That'd be nice. Look out below! Oh my god. Gotta make sure that this guy is far enough to the side when you make it to the bottom, so you got enough room to dodge that guy at the bottom. Come on. Oh shit. Got it. That would suck if we beat him and then got chomped at the bottom. Look, they're meatballs. Oops.
All right, no continue, but that's okay. I win. Don't need it. This part's kind of weird. These things come at you from all sides. The bottom gives you like almost no warning, but it's not a hard area. It's not a hard part of the level. It just, it's just it's kind of weird. It feels like somewhat poorly designed. It doesn't take too much life from you. It feels like it knows that it's not real well designed. So I guess that's all right then. It fills up your life here too before it does it to you again. Yippee! 
Professor Monkey for a head? Gosh dang that guy. There's a couple of parts where you can just run away from him and then he'll disappear. Not this part apparently though. Whenever an enemy shows up there, that's all that's going to show up afterwards. Alright, this part's a pain. Nice. Okay. I might die here, but at least I beat that part of it. Well, I did just die.
Alright, not too tough. This might be where it starts to get tough. Look, they're meatballs! Yep, he took one of the turbos. That's that's all right. At least we don't have to fight Psycho. Hey. All right. This this level can be tough. It's not the worst. You just got to know what to do and where. machine gun. Oh. 
Uh oh. Darn it. Ah, oh, well, that's good. At this. I think the hardest part's over with. I think this is pretty much the end right here. Might as well restart the audio anyways. Oh yeah, I, I'm not going to do advanced. We're just getting through this. sometimes right there that's weird usually he does look they're meatballs <laughs> distress getting closer to the end of the game it's actually, this is actually second to last level so yeah we're definitely getting there
Back when this game was only on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, I believe this was exclusive to Sega Genesis. And they probably tried to say blast processing, whatever. Yeah, it's just uh, the size of the cartridge. Some sort of licensing thing, who knows exactly what it was. you hit this guy while he's in the air, he can land on you and not hurt you. Almost last level. Look, they're meatballs. If I don't fight Psychro once in this playthrough, that'd be nice. Not that it matters, I'd beat him pretty easy anyways. I might be fighting him this time. Didn't even have to fight him once. I win! We got this. Kill you in one hit. But you can kill him in one hit if you whip him.
All right, I think we're going to be able to beat this game here within the next couple minutes. trickier part of the games. You gotta drop just right, or else it's pretty much instant death. Drop and whip. See if I can do it on the first go. Nice. Got it. Alright. I bet you I can beat this in one go here. Let's see. Well, almost. We got this. How many lives do we got? Seven. We got this. No worries. You gotta keep jumping on these things or else you slip off. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, come on. I think there's like an extra life up here. And let's restart the audio. You know, there is, but I'm not going to worry about it. And I've got such little life right now. But I might still be able to beat this boss. Let's see. It's really not that hard. We, we got this. We got this. Oh, yeah. Alright. Thorn. I was on it and I jumped right off. Come on. Okay, here we go. Plasma! Back the queen! Too bad. It's kind of too bad that the final boss is so easy in this game, but after everything you've had to do, it's actually kind of nice in a way. So, all right, let's see what happened to that cow we launched at the beginning. All that for nothing? Jeez, Jim, you're kind of shallow, but that's okay. What a fun game. Earthworm Jim for Windows 95, working on Windows 10. Um, yeah, make sure you check out my video on how to get this running in Windows 10 if you want to play it yourself. Uh, I also recommend not actually 
using the controller mappings in game, I recommend using a keyboard mapper uh, for your controller. Uh, you know, making your controller act like it's a keyboard with keyboard presses. Uh, it feels like it's more responsive that way. And I also think using a controller through the default means of this game may make it crash sometimes. And as you saw, it didn't crash once, so I do recommend that. Um, yeah, let's see. I know we see uh, Bobby Kotick in here. Everybody's favorite, Bobby Kotick. And someone named Broody. We were going to look for that. Doug Tenapple. I have a friend who uh, worked with him. Nick Broody, art director. I must have really liked that guy to make a level named after him. Tommy Tallarico Studios. Robert Kotick, everybody's favorite. Back then, no one knew what he would turn into. He just leaves her there under the couch. She's not even dead until right now. Man, Jim, I thought you were cool, man. Alright guys, well thanks for watching my playthrough. Um, I'm probably going to do a playthrough of Pitfall the Mine Adventure since it has the same exact fix as this game. And uh, then, you know, we'll see what other playthroughs I do. Thanks and have a good one guys.